just because I'm their friend They say I'm crazy, but I'm crazy because I'm angry Cause my life ain't been no daisies and it phase me, that's what they don't get They say I'm crazy, but I'm crazy cause they don't understand They say I'm crazy, but I'm crazy just because I'm their friend They say I'm crazy, but I'm crazy because I'm angry Cause my life ain't been no daisies and it phase me, that's what they don't get I've been looked at through eyes from people with judging minds Who never could live in mind, I'm sure it'll blow your mind Got the few screws that's loose when I'm in the booth The truth may haunt your soul, no worries, I've been a spook, boo Got voices in head just spitting verses and flip. You're giving away all the good juices. No, Is that fun? No, no, yeah, I, I would change the this the this school. Okay. Mr. Tony Meredith. Meredith? Yes. And you're from? World Bride Magazine. No, no, you're from? Haiti, Haiti. Haiti, what is it? Haiti, mais je ne peux pas français. I, I know how to say Come that really good. Bella, <laughs> yeah, like, we just got an amazing, beautiful lady from Haiti. <laughs> in LA. Did amazing, you? Amazing, beautiful. She bought one of our picture dresses. Of course she did. She's a princess. Wow. She's Queen. a princess? Beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful princess. And now that she's wearing a dress, absolutely. Okay, so we're all set, ready to talk to the famous Mr. Tony Ward, the couturier. Okay, Meredith, keep saying it. Keep saying it. <laughs> so please now tell us you're in Paris, France, because they had to have you, right? No, I, I came to Paris because coming back from Beirut, I have to stop in Europe. <laughs> so just, no, I'm in Paris. This is the fashion week, and uh, I have to be here. This is where most of my clients would come and see me and see the collection. I have to come see my showroom. Uh, I'm happy to meet the necessary and do the necessary and go back continue on creating my collections. So um, you are from Lebanon, yes, yes. Beirut, and everybody knows I love Lebanese. Everybody knows. All Haiti loves Lebanese. <laughs> Come on, how can you not love us? We're much alike. I know, yeah. I know there's a lot of Lebanese that live in Haiti too and open up hotels mixed children there, so I'm very familiar with the culture. Mm -hmm. So how long have you been designing? How long have we, have you known Tabule? <laughs> Forever? <laughs> no, I think I was, I was, I am born in a family who does the fashion all his life. Mm -hmm. So I grew up with them, but I started to do my own thing maybe 28, 29 years ago. Mm -hmm. and, uh, I was a baby, huh? Don't, don't That's what I don't understand. What do you mean, 28? You were, what, three? Yeah, I know. It was like child, uh, child abuse. <laughs> <laughs> Good for you. Keep saying these things. No, but I love your work, your craftsmanship, and everything that you've pieced together. They seem more like red carpet occasions, which easily translate into bridal, for, at least for Americans. But life is a red carpet. Oh, Every day you beautiful. wake up, you want to do, you want to have your own red carpet. Mm -hmm. You know, when you go in the bathroom, mm -hmm. start your song, and do what the hell, I'm the best, I'm the most <laughs> beautiful one, go out on the street, Absolutely. put a smile on your face. Absolutely. Even though they don't return the smile back, <laughs> especially here in Paris, it's much more complicated. But some people do. Right. And that's our own philosophy of life. Dresses are done for beautiful women. Mm -hmm. They're sick and skin. They should feel well in it, so it can cater a red carpet, mm -hmm. but it caters especially uh, an amazing lady who wants to be different in a different uh, setup. How different can we feel? Mm -hmm. Maybe as different as the bride the day of her uh, wedding, which is a very important market for us. Absolutely, too. absolutely. And I can totally see how your pieces can definitely go from bridal to red carpet, and so the bride can actually wear some of your cocktail dresses. I'm looking at them, like the short white ones and then the blamed out white long gown. So you think of more than just Please one day. Please write down which pieces this way <laughs> we duplicate in white. <laughs> that would make us easier for us when we do the collection. It's just beautiful, it's beautiful. How long does it take you to create a collection? Listen, I'm going tomorrow to Peru to show a collection 
uh, to shoot a collection on the 21st of March. Mm -hmm. So I technically have 15 days to do wow. a bridal collection and actually two because we have a collection we present in Milan mm -hmm. and another collection we present in New York which mm -hmm. is a completely different, uh, uh, different La Marie collection mm -hmm. which is a much important. So in 15 to seven, 17 days mm -hmm. I should be, I should be uh, giving birth to two important uh, collections. So now I'm preparing, I'm getting ready for it. Uh, I have my ideas well clear. You know, mm -hmm. we're in the internet phase with the phone. I can sketch things. Right. I can receive things from my assistant. Right. The studio already preparing everything for me. The kitchen is ready. I just arrived, put my gloves and cook. That's it. Yeah, start You're cooking. the maestro. I do the maestro. <laughs> <laughs> so now a bride, she's not going to come to Paris. Where else can she find you? Anywhere. Anywhere? Anywhere. She can find me in New York. Uh, she can find me in Michigan, she can find me in Shanghai, Beijing, Korea, Japan, and Kyoto. Mm -hmm. We have more than 45 to 60. I think in Brighton we have around 60 point of sales in the world. Wow. And we are very, pretty much very well spread. Uh, it's, the bride is, a, it is a most important, uh, the most important event in her life is mm -hmm. the wedding dress. And some countries, give a lot of importance for wedding. If you think of Italy, the institution of wedding is so important. Mm -hmm. You have uh, a big number of shops that buy us there. Just think of Switzerland, Germany, uh, Russia, mm -hmm. very important China. And uh, now in, in China, it's becoming so important. It used to be rental thing just for shooting. Right. Now they're going for high end, for very important pieces. Uh, Koreans, uh, all the Southeast Asia is so right. important. Um, France is a little bit more complicated. People are getting less married and uh, they're giving less importance for this. The USA is very important for us. Yeah. Uh, we work with a huge partner there. I don't know if we're allowed to say yes, the name. We could. work with Kleinfeld. I love Kleinfeld. So we're on the yes, Say Yes to the Dress on TLC. I, I do my show. I love uh, working with my brides. I go there four or five times a year. I spend a lot of time with them. I see, I think literally, I see around 500, 600 brides a year that help me to get in touch with them, create for them better. We did around 250 weddings last year. What? Only in New York. 350 in New York? Only? Yeah. Wow. New York, some of the brides of Clientel are go to, uh, uh, you know, buy from for Toronto, go for, buy for uh, yes. Miami or right. for Texas. That's a detail, but I know that we meet the bride in New York. Uh, so you have a there. huge American market. So your market in America is pretty big. You're calling it huge. I think that's I very think it's good. Just a start. I'm oh, big. I'm a big guy. Wow. Do you hear that? Everybody. Tony Ward wants you. <laughs> no, no. They have to want me before. <laughs> so now the dresses go beyond the bridal. So you have is that correct? Yeah, we have, so tell us a little we bit have about a, that. Uh, two, two lines uh, of bridal, mm -hmm. one bridal and one higher end bridal, which is La Marie. Mm -hmm. We have a line of ready to wear mm -hmm. that shows twice a year in Paris and in New York. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have a line of couture that mm -hmm. shows twice a year mm -hmm. in uh, Paris, it's in January, and in Paris, it's in Mm -hmm. So the bridal collection is shown out of Milan, mm -hmm. the La Marie collection is shown twice a year in October and in April mm -hmm. uh, in New York. Mm -hmm. It's a little bit messy mm -hmm. because we're all over the place. Uh, we did shows till last, last season in uh, Moscow for our ready to wear twice a season. Wow. We're uh, very much selective with the, uh, uh, with the market weeks or the fashion weeks that mm -hmm. we do. And uh, we love being uh, also in the new markets so in the Southeast Asia, mm -hmm. very present in uh, private presentations, capsule collections. So we're almost with a collection and a half. Uh, no, every month and a half we have a collection. Wow, that's a lot of work. That's a lot. How big is your we're team? We're busy, we're busy. How big is your team? We're not too big, we're around 140 person. That's small. Yeah. Right for a, a global business. Yeah, but we are very organized. Yeah, I can see, so and they're very professional. The team I've met them. In they're New very York young. I'm the oldest guy in town. <laughs> they're learning from you. You're not old. You're seasoned. Keep saying this. 
So can you show us around some of your things here? So we would love Dream to about show. it. I'm not moving. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's. Thank you.